Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about logical operators in dart programming so guys these are some of the logical operators that you can see so what happens is in the previous video i have explained you about the if else conditions so those are the conditional statements that we can use in order to execute a block of statements but in this case we had used only single conditions you can use multiple conditions as well while using these operators that is and operator and or operator and not operator as well so these we are going to understand with the help of examples so let us just quickly see the examples over here so let's say we have a variable a it is equal to 10 and then we have another variable as b it is equal to 20 and we want to check if both the variables is less than or greater than a particular value so what we will do is we will put a if condition and then inside brackets what we can do is we will check whether a is less than 15 and we also want to check that b is greater than 15 so as you can see we are using the logical operators over here and this logical operator is end operator and in this if condition what will happen is the very first thing is this will be checked whether a is less than 15 or not and if it is less than 15 if this returns true then it will see that there is an end operator and there is another condition to be checked so over here the control flow will go and then it will check whether b is greater than 15 or not and then if this condition is also true then we will have the line of codes over here inside curly braces that will get executed guys one important thing over here that both the conditions should be true in this case in order to execute lines of codes that are present inside this curly braces if any of the conditions is false over here then these line of codes will not get executed so let me print a value as true over here so we are just checking here whether a is less than 15 and b is greater than 15 in this particular code so i'll save this and run this file so as you can see it has returned true over here this is because both the conditions are satisfied what if i change the value over here b greater than 15 to b less than 15 so i'll just change this to b less than 15 i'll save this and try running this code So as you can see over here nothing got printed this is because in these conditions none of the conditions were true and in this case what we have to do is we have to have a else statement over here so inside else what we will do is we will print the value as false so whatever conditions we have if it doesn't meet our conditions we will print the value as false so i'll save this and run this code so false is printed over here as you can see that's because b is not less than 15 and this condition did not get satisfied and that is why the else statement got printed so guys in this way whenever we are using and operator both the conditions should get satisfied in order for these line of codes to be printed inside the if statement if any one condition is not satisfied then it will not print this line of code but it will go in the else condition guys let us see another example for the or statement over here so as you can see we have a less than 15 b less than 15 but if we want that only one condition should get satisfied that is whether a or b is less than 15 we want this line of code to get executed in that case we will use the or operator and in this way we use the or operator i'll save this and run this code so as you can see this is true that is because this condition that is a is less than 15 was true and whenever this or operator gets any of the conditions as true this particular line of code will get printed irrespective whether other conditions are meeting or not so this or operator just needs one condition to get satisfied so guys i'll show you another example let's say we put over here a is greater than 15 and b is also greater than 15 in this case a greater than 15 will return as false but b greater than 15 will return as true so one condition is getting satisfied so i'll save this and run this code so since one condition is getting satisfied over here we are getting it as true so guys in this way we can use the and operator or the or operator in order to check the multiple conditions so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications of the upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is conditional expressions in dart programming so stay tuned